Once upon a time, the Buddha lived in Tin Sa Kyi Hon of Srivasti city, often preaching the Dharma to gods and humans. At that time in the country there was a very wealthy man named Lam Dat. Mr. Lam Dat's house is large and magnificent. His assets are countless. He is the richest man in the area. The wealthy man Lam Dat regularly organized many large offering ceremony to deities with purpose to flaunt his reputation. Once Mr. Lam Dat organized a large almsgiving ceremony for more than 5,000 Brahmins, he provided all kinds of clothes, beds, medicine, precious things. Mr. Lam Dad had the Brahmins pray to the deities for him to have all the blessings. According to the ritual, the Brahmins together pray to the God of Rain, God of Wind, God of Fire, God of Water so that Mr. Lam Dad will receive many blessings. One day, the rich man Lam Dat held a huge almsgiving ceremony in his own unique way. All the alms and offerings according to his rule, the golden bowl containing the silver grain, the silver bowl containing the golden grain, elephants, horses, slaves, jewelry. There are many other items such as shoes, umbrellas, leather jackets, pots, pens, all the things that need to be given away. On that day all the Brahmins came to participate in the almsgiving ceremony. And other aristocrats such as kings, ministers and Brahmins. Everyone was overjoyed. The Buddha saw that Mr. Lam Dat was not so smart. He gave so much but he did not receive much merit. I need to teach him. If I don't teach him, he will never see the right way. The Buddha immediately went to the place of almsgiving ceremony. The Buddha released a bright light that spread throughout the area. Anyone who saw it was amazed not knowing which god this was. Mr. Lam Dat and everyone in the almsgiving ceremony turned to the Buddha with a reverent heart. The Buddha began to preach the Dharma. Buddha said every month thousands of gold coins for a lifetime of sacrifices are not as good as in the moment of thinking about the Dharma. This blessing is better than a lifetime of sacrifice. Although hundreds of years of worshipping the God of Fire is not as good as in the moment of worshipping the Buddha Dharma, this blessing is more than a hundred years of worshipping the God of Fire. Then the Buddha taught to Mr. Lam Dat, there are four kinds of offerings. What are the four? Here are four types. Give more and get less blessings. If you give less, you will receive more blessings. If you give more, you will receive many blessings. Offering less is less blessed. Why is it that the person who sacrifices a lot of sacrifices gets little blessing? It means that those who kill and sacrifice drink wine and dance will not receive blessings.
Why is it that if you give little, you get little blessing? That is people who are greedy and malicious and give alms to the worldly Brahmins. Both are stupid will not be blessed. Why give little but get much blessings? That is by loving kindness that gives alms to the virtuous monks. They diligently study. Such alms giving, though very little, reaps many blessings. Why is it that if you give generously, you will get many blessings? If someone is kind, they bring money to build temples and monasteries and make offerings to Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. This blessing is like water from a river flowing into the sea. This blessing is abundant, eternal and never-ending. These are many offerings, many blessings. At that time, Mr. Lamdat and everyone else saw the magical power of the Buddha and heard the Dharma teaching. All were happy. The gods and demons were also happy. Five thousand Brahmins begged the Buddha to be ordained as monks. After that, everyone attained arahantship. Mr. Lamdat and all his family took refuge in the Triple Jewel and held the five precepts. The kings and nobles all obtained the Dharma. I.